Well, guys, the train is coming, but the train is not coming for Donald Trump. The train is coming for Fannie Willis. Now, Fannie Willis wants to have Trump convicted before the election. We know that that is not going to happen. She is begging and pleading, please make this happen, man, before the election. Make it happen because I need Donald Trump to be locked up so I can actually grow my political career. Folks, Fannie Willis is despicable and disgusting. And Nathan Wade, man, seems to have no problem talking to the media. And I believe every time he talks to the media, he's making things worse. Now, in my previous video, Nathan Wade was actually on with CNN and Caitlin Collins actually asked her, asked him, I should say, about the timeline of their relationship. When it started, he tap danced around it. He did not want to say. Folks, that tells me that this man lied on the stand. Fannie Willis lied on the stand. We all know that they lied on the stand. Even Fannie Willis's uh, friend said this relationship started back in 2019. Well, Fannie Willis was allowed to remain on the case by Judge Scott McAfee, but all he did was really hit the bucket. He severely damaged Fannie Willis and Scott McAfee. I believe if he wasn't up for reelection, he probably would have booted her from this case. Now, the Georgia Court of Appeals is in their hands. They're going to be hearing arguments in October, October the 4th, if I'm not mistaken. And they may rule in the spring of next year. But they put a stop to this case on everything. Pre-trial motions, all that stuff completely stop. Nothing is going to happen with this case at all ever again, in my opinion. But if the court rules against uh, Trump. Guess what? He can still appeal to the Georgia Supreme Court. This trial, folks, is never happening. I believe that Fannie Willis is going to get the boot. And I think that Fannie Willis knows she's going to get the boot because now she's panicking, guys. She is panicking and begging the Georgia Court of Appeals to throw out Trump's motion to have her disqualified. Let's get into it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you're watching on Rumble, click the join button to get access to the same thing. Here we go, guys. Fannie Willis bids court to throw out Trump's motion to remove her from his case. Now, she's she's saying that, hey, Nathan Wade is gone. So let me stay, please. Let me stay. I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, you did. You did. For one thing, this whole case is political. We all know that. But you decided to actually um travel around with Nathan Wade on a taxpayer dime. He was paying for it because you gave this man six hundred and fifty five thousand dollars of taxpayer money. This woman is corrupt. Says here. Fulton County D.A. Fannie Willis's office filed a motion in Georgia's appeal court on Wednesday to throw out former President Donald Trump's motion to remove Willis from his Georgia 2023 or 2020 election case. The New York Post reports. But I don't think it's going to work, Fannie. I really don't. They have already agreed to hear this thing. I mean, Scott McAfee did a lot of damage to you, even though he left you on that case. Your days are numbered, man. Willis argued that she should be allowed to continue as lead prosecutor in the case because her secret lover, Nathan Wade, resigned as special prosecutor after Judge Scott McAfee decided in March that only one of them could remain on the case. Trump's legal team said the embattled DA's uh, motion is a last ditch effort to stop any appellate review of D.A. Willis's misconduct. Yeah. Fannie Willis knows she's in trouble. She knows that she is, trouble, is in trouble. Even though Nathan Wade says. Oh I believe this um, trial is going to happen. I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. I'm going to give this trial a 10% chance. Of actually happening. 
Willis's office argued in court documents that Judge McAfee's, quote, concern with any potential questions steam from Wade's continued presence in the case, a concern that was addressed when Wade withdrew. The defendant's, quote, remaining evidence therefore relates to possible concerns about future appearances of impropriety that can can no longer even come to pass, the court filing stated. Judge McAfee was highly critical of Willis and Wade when he made his decision after hearing conflict of interest arguments about their secret relationship, Willis hired Wade as a special prosecutor on the 2020 election case against Trump and 18 co-defendants in which they have been accused of attempting to overturn state election results despite having a romantic relationship. It was re- later revealed that Willis financially benefited from dating Wade, of course, of course, who treated her to exotic vacations after raking in a lucrative salary on the case. However, the duo refuted allegations that they financially benefited from the case. We all know they financially benefited from this case. Nathan Wade got a whole bunch of money, man. Fanny Willis got the kid bats. But Nathan Wade says, hey, I didn't do anything wrong. Really, you didn't? Fanny Willis, I didn't do nothing wrong. They, they're not taking any responsibility for their actions. According to Willis's office, the arguments supporting the motion to disqualify her were rendered, quote, a room without walls after McAfee disregarded uh, the testimony of star witness Terrence Bradley, Wade's former law partner and divorce attorney, due to credibility concerns. Uh, Steve Sadow, uh, Trump's lawyer, slammed the DA's motion and it is and it was a last ditch, ditch effort to stop any appellate review of D.A. Willis's misconduct, adding that the state's motion deliberately failed to mention that Judge Scott McAfee's ruling uh, stated an order of mendacity remains from the hearing testimony by the D.A. and the state's witness. The judge also said there were reasonable questions as to whether Willis and former prosecutor Wade testified truthfully. You see, folks. He put that in there on purpose because on on appeal, the court can actually look at it and say, wait a minute. This dude has some major, major concerns about Fannie Willis. He probably really didn't believe what she was saying. Nathan Wade, too. Yeah, he he put that in there on purpose, man. He just didn't have the guts to get them off the case. Uh, Quote, the state has uh, tried this gambit before with no success. He added Uh, The criminal case against Trump was suspended by the Court of Appeals last week until the higher court issues a decision regarding the petition to disqualify Willis. The trial against the presumptive Republican presidential nominee will not proceed until appellate arguments are heard, which are tentatively tentatively, uh, scheduled for October the 4th. So there you have it, man. Fannie Willis is panicking. I mean, She knows she's on the clock. She knows that it is over for her. Over. First of all, man, I believe that Trump is going to win the election. And he's going to be in the White House next year. No way in the world he's going to trial. No way. But I believe, man, she'll probably be booted. Shortly thereafter, um, the hearing is actually hurt right there by the Court of Appeals. Yeah, Fannie Willis. You're done. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.